What is up there everyone, it's the Gardener Gamertech here and today I wanted to talk about how people should probably give Sledgehammer games a little more breathing space because a lot of people are very hateful towards the game because it doesn't work. Admittedly they are selling us a product, it should work and if it doesn't work they should fix it as soon as possible. But it's quite obvious they are working on it, they are replying to people's tweets. I went on Glenn Schofield's Twitter and he is replying to people, not just Drifter and Allier, he's d replying to the average Joe like all of us. And I think that is quite a good thing. Also, does Sledgehammer actually deserve all the blame for the issues in the game? I have a screenshot here of the campaign credits, and you'll be interested to know that Infinity Ward actually had some input on the development of this game. I'm not going to speculate as to where they had the input, but it might just be something you might want to consider before you make the next rant towards the game. Because actually you might find that some of the things which people are like, oh this was clearly Sledgehammer did that in Modern Warfare 3, blah de blah de blah. It might have actually been Infinity Ward since they have helped with this game. Because I think unfortunately because of the connection issues and people's massively short attention spans with games now, it's kind of ruining the experience for Advanced Warfare and unfortunately is probably giving Sledgehammer a worse reputation than they really deserve because I personally don't feel that they had three years to develop this game considering that up until recently before the game was released they were still seem to be employing people in some quite high up jobs like graphics designers which I think is in some ways a bad thing but it bodes well I suppose for the future of their studio because it means they can do more they can probably improve the game a lot and I'm not going to say that I'm not going to buy another product from them because I have enjoyed Advanced Warfare when it plays well for me. But I just thought I would just put this point across to you because as much as people want to complain because they've been sold something that they wanted to work and it hasn't, Sledgehammer does not deserve all the blame for it. Part of the fault is Activision. They've forced people to put out the games way too early they did it with destiny and that has basically killed that game yeah it's still very popular but almost everyone's patience is running very thin with that game but anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this has been the guy with no gamertag and i will see you on another video